Hello, my name is Dwayne Blair, and today we're gonna to go through a quick fix on how to help players stop more efficiently. One of the most frustrating skills for players to learn and, and master as young players is stopping. And as parents, it's frustrating because a lot of times players are good at one side, they stop well on the right side or the left side, and the other side they just can't get. It's just like riding a bike. Once they get that stop, then they've got it and it'll always be there. But it's that first little bit of getting it. So here's a couple of things that are some inefficiencies that players do all the time that if we can address it and fix it, it makes it much easier for these young players to stop. A lot of times when players try to stop, they stop they're on their inside edges. So what happens is when they're skating forward, they're gliding on their inside edges and they go to stop and they're gonna turn. It's impossible to stop on your inside edges and, and slide. So if you get a player just to learn how to be in the neutral position, so having their boots, their blades over top of, or their weight, sorry, over top of their inside and outside edge, and just being in a nice neutral position, and getting their weight on the ball of their feet. So literally having them stand on the line or standing on the, on the ice and just spinning their feet side to side like that. And there's their side stop. And we've had videos about this before, but we break down our side stop with turning our head, and then our shoulders, and then our feet. And oftentimes coaches have players doing their drills too fast. So they're coming into a stop really quick and it's hard to get that turn. So getting them to be in a neutral position and going literally this fast, super slow, head, shoulders, feet. And getting them just to be able to turn that foot. We'll see a lot of players that'll come in on their inside edges, so they'll head, shoulders, and then they're not able to turn those feet and slide. So we wanna make sure that they're on that neutral, right, on the ball of their feet, and then they can turn those feet nice and quick when they stop. Also, we see players with their base too wide. So we'll see players coming in for a stop like that, really, really wide, right? And again, we want that base to be tighter. So just about shoulder distance apart, and they're standing in that neutral position and coming in and starting really, really, really slow and then adding speed to it. So at the beginning, I'd have players come really slow, literally this fast, glide, head, shoulders, feet. And do a bunch of reps like that up the ice or to the line and back or however you want to do it and then you can add speed to it. So have them come in a little bit quicker, head, shoulders, feet, and then turn those feet a little bit quicker. But the, the, one of the big keys is going really, 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 really slow, but getting them to have good body position as they're coming into that stop. Um, and really, really important to make sure that they're on the ball of their feet and that they're over the neutral of their blade. So they're not on their inside edges, right? And obviously not on their outside edges, but that they're standing in that neutral in order to be able to slide and stop on those edges. When players get more advanced, we obviously want to get them set so they can take off quickly. And when we think of quick starts, we think of a crossover start. Well, in order to start a crossover start, it's going to begin with a stop. And a lot of times when we start working with older players as they're getting into like that Adam and Pee Wee, they're, they're getting better, they're learning to stop both ways. But you'll see some inefficient stops where players will turn their feet like this and they'll have one foot out like this. So you can't cross over like that. Or they'll drag a foot. So they'll come in like this and drag a toe. Well, now that drag, I can't cross over. So again, we want them to be in a good stop position in order to take off quickly. So think about that as when I stop, that's gonna be the beginning of my quick start. So when a player comes in and stops in a good position here, now they can push off that inside edge and that outside edge. So as we're teaching young players to stop, we need to keep in mind that as they get older, we want them to be efficient when they stop so that they can take off quickly as we start introducing those quick starts to that next set of skills as, as, they're, as they're progressing through hockey, right? So when they're young, we want to make sure they're on the ball, their feet, they're in that neutral, they're, they're performing a good stop. As they get older, we want them to stick that stop quickly and then right away take off in that crossover. So it's very important that they get those little fundamentals down at the beginning, especially as they get older, we're making sure that they're stopping with both feet, not sliding a foot or turning a foot or getting off balance on those stops. Stopping is obviously a very important skill in hockey. And it's really frustrating for players when they're able to stop one way and not on the other side. It limits where they can play, it limits how they can turn. If the puck's going this way and I can't stop facing that way, I've got to stop this way. Now I turn my back to the play. So helping young players learn how to stop efficiently is going to be huge for the rest of their life in hockey, right? Whether they play high level, whether they play men's league, the better they can stop, the better player they're going to be. And as coaches, the more we can correct them and teach them those correct fundamentals, the better, the better they're going to be at hockey, obviously, and at these little skills that we're teaching.